Um, I was very happy where I was, uh, the city of Rockford, where I was born and raised, my family. Um, I was very content there, had a great group of individuals that I had worked with. Um, and having knowledge about the city of Fort Collins and Poudre Fire Authority, uh, first of all, they're an accredited organization, which is roughly only about 300 in the world. Um, I could not see myself working for a non-accredited agency, really focus on data and outcomes and providing the best level of service to the community. But one thing that really drew me to here um, when I came and did a visit with my wife and I uh, was the people that make up the organization. That's the most important thing to me and that's, that's why I'm here and uh, very happy to be here. Sure, one thing, when I, when I first got hired in my first career fire department, I knew this is what I wanted to do the rest of my life. So looking at what would set myself up for success to give me the best opportunity for skills to be successful as a chief fire officer um, was pursuing more education in the public administration realm. A lot of what the fire chief has to do is deal with elected officials, boards, budgeting, and other tasks associated with administrative side. So I went to Northern Illinois University, achieved my master's, took five years, did that while I had three children working full time and my wife was working full time. That was probably one of my biggest accomplishments because it wasn't just myself to, to be able to complete that task. I had a lot of friends and family that supported me getting there. One thing that I truly enjoy is spending time with my family. Um, my son plays lacrosse, so going to his lacrosse games. Um, us going on hikes with our, our entire family when they're here, also taking our dog out. Um, like I said, we all enjoy snow skiing, so we've gone quite a bit. Um, done some snowmobiling in Wyoming, which was incredible. Um, and then most of it just being outside, going for walks and exploring new areas around Fort Collins and around the entire area. There's still so much that we have not even been able to explore, and uh, we always try to find some new place to go every weekend. There's no challenge, it's easy. <laughs> uh, any, any leader experiences challenges. I think one thing um, that I feel very important is that my role, as I tell everybody, is here to support them. Is if there's anything they need they can't get or any obstacle, that I'm here to assist them to facilitate that, uh, to provide all the necessary skills, equipment that they need to be successful in providing their service. To stay in touch, one thing my, since becoming a firefighter the first day is the excitement of going on the calls. Um, the variety, you don't know what you're gonna get till you get there. And then putting your skills to use to serve the community and have positive impact. Um, I still enjoy that. Um, you will see me on fire calls or other types of rescues or if I'm driving by just to stop and help out, talk to the community member, see if we can do any assistance to them. And then one thing I really enjoy is stopping and visiting the stations. Uh, to see where the men and women live, where they're spending their time, and just to have conversations. Um, like I said, my most important thing about this organization is the people and learning to know more about them and develop those relationships. Um, I try once a weekend to stop at a station and just say hi and visit. And I think it's important to stay connected and not lose touch because um, you learn so much when you're out visiting stations and talking to people doing what they're doing.